This is part four of modeling for Blender Challenge 12, uh, Healthy Medical. And I've gone ahead and I've done just a couple of things to save you from watching me try to make cables. So I've created this cable, use a Bezier curve and wrapped it around here and another one here and they're slightly different and slightly different lengths. I don't know if that looks good or not, but and then I put on uh, these little um, endings here and I, I put a knob on there. I don't know, I just thought it looked right. Um, and I think I'm gonna try to finish up now. Um, I may not do the clipboard at all or I might not do it now. And I'm going to do something here. And the issue that I have with this is in the original, uh, this is the only image that I have uh, that shows this all right i have a couple of other images but none of them really show that and so i've had some trouble trying to figure out um what it does i mean it, it looks relatively simple but um i just uh, you know sometimes the simple things are, are hard to model if you can't see the other sides and so i'm just going to do something and put it on there and hope the alien isolation uh, dev gods don't uh think it's too crazy so anyways all right so here's what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna bring in a cylinder and make it something like 18 and uh, I don't need anything there and look from the front make sure I'm in uh, global here and I want to rotate Y90 and scale it down to approximate size I want it. I'm going to scale shift X now. Let's bring it out though. Let's work with that from the side. Okay, I'm going to go into wireframe and one for vertex selection. I'm actually going to get rid of that. Let's make it a little bit easier. So I just got those guys. Okay, I'm going to look from the side again and shift D down to maybe about there let's get rid of all of those vertices I'm gonna take um, if that's enough room bring it down a bit more I'm gonna make this one bigger than this one so I'm gonna select those two vertices and shift S cursor select and bring my 3d cursor there select the whole thing and switch over to 3d cursor and I'm just gonna scale it down like that uh, actually I'm gonna Let's um, scale this in the Y. No, let's just scale it like that. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. Let's go back to medium point, and I'm going to take this vertice, vertex, sorry, and that one I have to make a face. So I've got that. Let's, uh, let's actually grab that, pull it there. Let's scale that a bit more. Let's try a couple of different ways of doing this. Let's pull it to here. Let's extrude it out like that. Select it all, Alt N. We calculate outside my polys. Um, Maybe we'll take the whole thing, extrude back like this, and then scale Y0 to flatten it out. So I've got that. So this is what I'm thinking here. Okay, now I'm going to add an edge loop and pull it out like this. I think this is what I want to do. And in uh, face selection, circle select, I'm going to grab all of this stuff here. Let's delete. Yeah, let's not do it like that. All right, let's grab the whole thing. And just get rid of all of that. So I got those pieces, all right. I want to rebuild them, so I'm going to shift alt to click that edge. Come up to face and grid fill, and it will do, do that for me. Do the same thing here and now i'm going to rejoin some of this so 
I gotta get all these faces here and all these faces here and control E uh, bridge edge loops so I'm back to there and for this one um, let's try those four let's just see what that looks like I don't know about this last one Let's not do that. Let's get rid of the third and fourth one there. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's try that. Let's just see how it looks with a bevel. I'll go for three. Zero point zero two maybe. Let's do angle smooth. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw on the weighted normal and auto smooth. Mm. All right, well. Okay, so once again, we'll do that. And let's uh, bring the 3D cursor there now. Let's see if we bring in a plane to represent a piece of paper. What would it be like? Um, okay, so I'm gonna pull that out first of all. And this is the part that I, I assume there's, you know, like a, a, a spool of ECG or EKG paper in there. And it appears as if it's, this is a tilted down uh, a little bit um, to me. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, let's... Uh, Let's just put on solidify. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that for the moment. Actually, maybe a bit wider though. Okay. Um, let's take that, let's borrow that, shift D. And um, let's do this. Let's turn off that and pull this up. Um, want that about there. Want to make this clip. Scale that in the X. I'm going to bring in an edge loop. I just want to see how thick this is. Looks like the top is thicker than these. I don't know. I'll just do that. And another one here. And then we'll come out like that, kind of. And I'm going to actually do another one down there. Okay, I'm going to select that face and that face and delete it. And then select these two edges and... E, S, X, scale them in the X and pull them in a bit. Then a vertex selection, I'm going to select those two vertices and pull them down. Um, let's take the whole thing and extrude it backwards. Let's just make sure everybody is... Yeah, okay. Everybody is going crazy. Then we calculate outside. There we go. Let's 
Let's see how she looks with the bevel. I think um, I'm going to try to just bend some of these edges a bit. So this piece is looks like it's rounded a bit, but I don't really know. And so, and maybe it's built from a cylinder actually. What I was thinking I would do, to set the origin to that thing, is I'm just gonna rotate it down, and put it you know, somewhere like there. And then I was thinking, I was thinking I would rotate the paper as well. And that's really the thing that's been bothering me the most, is, is doing that. And I just, now that's not quite right. So uh, I need to uh, work on the positioning of this. Um, Let me just play around for a second here. I don't want it digging down too far, so I don't like that. I think I kind of like that position for it. And so... So what? Oh, sorry. And that's what I'm getting. You know? Um, let's go 
go ahead and um, select all this stuff. that looks okay um, kind of similar to the original I know there's something wrong with it but that's that's what I'm coming up with all right um, and so let's have a look with that you know maybe if you don't look too closely at that uh, it, it maybe it'll it'll blend in and look a little bit like the original out a bit far I don't know hopefully let's have one more look at this yeah. that's what I got so I am gonna call this piece done for the time being I may come back and do the clipboard we'll see because I want to move on uh, after this to this cart and this device and those may be all that I create here all right just for this this scene so that it's not too too complicated and then I'll go in and I'll try to do some texturing put in a couple more things and some text and some color and we'll try to either match this to some extent there's no way I could do that but we'll see or uh, or give it our own flair so good we got that done probably took three hours of modeling time to do it and then a little bit of time on the side to think about it I'm sure I'm sure Jack did it in 15 minutes but <laughs> all right cool thanks for watching see you next time